Hey, people, you know who it is. You know what to do. Anyways, guys, okay, uh, I'm getting bombarded by the same type of messaging, messaging patterns, same discussion pieces over and over and over again. And what am I getting a lot of? Five-minute cities, five-minute towns, 15-minute cities, 10-minute villages, all kinds of information is pouring in. Now, we have already covered this a little bit on the channel, not extensively, but we have covered this. But today I received something from somebody, photographs of a pamphlet that came to their door. And I kind of want to address it and talk about what is going on. And I want to give my two cents on this 10 minute, five minute, whatever cities. And you could find more information about this. Seoul is building a 10 minute city. You could find information like that. You could go into the five minute city, a new way to imagine a better Vancouver, uh, the five minute neighborhood. So this was sent to me via email. And, but I received something very interesting, photographs of pamphlets. So what are we talking about? Okay, so we did talk about this uh, four years ago where we discussed a Darwin takeover with social credit score, 5G, digital ID, and digital currency thought control four years ago, right? And what happened in this episode of Mike in the Night? Is this four years? Is Mike in the Night? Yeah. So four years, what are we talking We were talking about this and how they are, you know, recording people, where they're going, who they're talking to, if they're associating with people in the red boxes and the green boxes and stuff like that. We talked about this whole thing. And that again, this was four years ago. And it's something they've been very vocal about. And for 15-minute cities, we just... You type in 15 minute we got am i in a 15 minute city mary bc mary uh five 15 minute neighborhoods is what we call them here and that's in our city plan and stack them up condense more people 15 minute 15 minute cities coming soon because that was six years ago because they were actually shutting down or they were buying up housing a residential area and then stacking them up and stacking people up and condensing them more so they pay more to live as opposed to being more free in a freehold property but what's freehold anymore? Okay, so this is what I got in the mail, not in the mail, like in my email. People are getting these pamphlets. So they are warning people out there. What is a digital ID? Where do you spend your time? Uh, where do you spend your time? Where do you spend your money? Have you been, you know what? Every day, every day Canadian governments use digital ID to learn about you and your speech and your habits and opinions, uh, your finances and your body. So basically what they're doing is they are sending this out to create awareness and there it is, tracked uh, and traced and growing digital dictatorship. And it's happening pretty much everywhere in the world because the pendulum is swinging back and the governments can't control the narratives anymore. And Oshawa and other uh, Canadian cities have applied to become a smart city, uh, which is a first step for the 15-minute city. So this, this thing breaks it right down here. And you could contact certain people here. And I just wanted to, there it is there, notice to residents and... Things you should know about smart 15-minute cities. A smart city is a modern urban area that uses different electronic methods to censor, to collect uh, specific data, to monitor our every move, who you visited, and uh, where you work. And if you go back to here, you will see that uh, we were already – sorry, that's just my shop there. We were already talking about this. We were already talking about this uh, – sorry, back here – um, how people interacting with each other and how your credit score would change and and um, and you got a number above the US. So this is something that's been already in the works. Now, let me explain to you why this is called a Darwin takeover, right? It happened a few years back. Uh, according to that, it was four years ago and change. In the city of Darwin in Northern Australia, the ministers or the the government there, or the the ministry there, went to China to grab this technology of tracking people, a tracking system. They went to these places to grab this technology and bring it back to Australia. Now, it's been four years since they've brought it back, and it looks like it ain't working right. Is it working right? Are we seeing more people getting arrested in Darwin? Are we seeing? I don't know. I'm not hearing anything about Northern Australia. All right, sorry about that, guys. Anyways, so what I wanted to add to this was, yeah, my what I think how this is going to come about or how I think it's going to be. They're going to try to do this. No question of a doubt, they're, they're going to do this or they're going to push for it or they're going to find ways 
to track and control more people as a narrative falls apart, the pendulum is swinging back, and the narrative is falling apart. But here's the deal with it. Do they have the manpower to do it, to police it, to put it in place, and then to keep it in place? you got to keep that in mind. you got to keep the infrastructure in place. Who's going to build it? The Europeans need to come. More you bring it, open up immigration from Europe. Again, you closed it in 93, but bring them all back to build this infrastructure to enslave us. So I don't think the Europeans are going to be running to Canada anymore to come and build any more infrastructure. So um, how are they going to implement it? How are they going to put it into place? How are they going to monitor it? How are they going to keep it? going right it's yeah so that's my opinion on it they're going to try for it yes they're going to push for it yes they're going to do whatever they can to control us whether it is through tracking whether it is through whatever they feel like they want to do but to be honest with you uh they just don't have the manpower to do it and if they do who's going to maintain it right that's the questions we need to be asking too anyways guys i have an audience here watching me make this video and you can come down and visit me every anytime here at the shop i'll be here you know my hours you can find me online let me know what you guys think in the comments below mike martin's here i have spoken